dear student welcome to my channel topic of this video is image compression in this video i am going to discuss vector quantization with the example in my previous video i have already explained what is mean by lossy data compression and one of the lossy data compression technique that is improved grayscale grayscale quantization now we will see vector quantization quantization is approximation quantization is a mapping technique and there are two types of quantization are there scalar and vector quantization it is a block encoding technique that quantizes block of data instead of single sample so when we take the block of data it becomes a vector and when we take the sing single sample it becomes a scalar quantization it exploits the correlation between the neighboring signal sample by quantizing them together encoder side the input image is partitioned into set of non overlapping image blocks the closest code word in the code book is then found using each image block using a distance corresponding index for each search closest code word is transmitted to the decoder and compression is achieved because of the indices of the closest code word in the code book are sent to the decoder instead of the image block themselves so when we solve the problem then at that time all these four <laughs> steps will be easily understood vq performance is directly proportional to the code book code book size and the vector size the computational complexity in vq technique increases exponentially with the size of vector blocks therefore the blocks used used by the vector quantizations are usually small vq can be used to compress an image both in spatial as well as frequency domain so this is the encoder side and this is the decoder side the code book the designing of the code book is the important step and it should be very much optimal otherwise the the uh, complexity of vq increases exponential so this same code book is maintained at the sender side as well as the receiver side so here input image is taken and it is divided into vectors based on the size of l after that we are searching using the distance algorithm that is a map of input vectors to the closest code vectors and after that we are getting the indices so we are transmitting only indices instead of the image value at the receiver side indices are there and from that indices it again map to the code book and the output vectors gets generated so this is the encoder and decoder side and here the optimal part of the vector quantization is nothing but the design of the code book design of the code vectors that is code book is nothing but the set of code vectors the number of code vectors depends upon the two parameter that is rate and dimension l the number of code vectors is calculated through the following formula that is number of code vectors is equal to 2 raised to r into l where r is rate that is nothing but bits per pixel and l is dimension that is grouping so when we will solve the problem this l will be clear to you people when the rate increases the number of code vectors increases basically whatever this number of code vectors is based on these two factors r into l and as the number of code vectors increases the size of the code book is also increases so these are the eight steps which involve the in vector quantization coding so when we solve the problem we are following all these steps sequentially so instead of uh, looking this we will when we solve the problem we will stay we will see the each step in detail then perform uh, encoding and decoding for a given image using vector quantization so this input image is given of 4 by 4 and we are calculating the vector quantization so first step is computation of dynamic range see these steps computation of dynamic range so computation of dynamic range is nothing but the max value minus minimum value maximum value in an image is 15, 16 and minimum is 1 so dynamic range is 15 next step is fixing the rate and dimension this is very important step so fixing rate and dimension so here uh, the value of the image if we can see that approximately 4 bits are required to represent this image even 16s are there but this is a lossy compression technique so generally 4 bits can be used to represent this image so we can choose the rate either 1 2 or 3 if we take r is equal to 4 then at that time it becomes same as our original image so we are taking this r is equal to intermediate compression rate so we have taken r is equal to 2 dimension is nothing but grouping of elements and l equal to 2 is taken so when we solve the problem we can easily understood that how the l equal to 2 affects on the mapping and generation of the code vectors step 3 determining the number of code vectors so number of code vectors we have already seen the formula 2 raised to r into l so 2 raised to 2 into 2 is equal to 2 raised to 4 which is equal to 16 
now here the number of code vectors in the code book are from 16 they are from represented from c00 to c15 now we require to determine the interval now the interval is dynamic range divided by r into l our dynamic range is 15 divided by 4 that is r is 2 and l is 2 so which is equal to 4 now here our code book is of two dimension because l is equal to 2 so here the important step is 2 important step is that as our l is equal to 2 so whatever our code book is of two dimension and we have to design take the interval of 4 so 0 to 4 4 to 8 8 to 12 and 12 to 16 then this is on the x side and this is on the y axis so we can represent by this diagram the 16 code vectors they are from c00 to c15 now we require to give the naming so here from here also we can start with c0 or from here also we can start the c0 but whatever order is maintained is same at the sender side and receiver side now here we are representing c12 here now we can see that c12 the centroid we are represented by the star value so on the axis is the median value is mid value is 2 and on the y axis mid value is 2 so centroid is 2 2 then for this block the on the x axis 2 is there on the y axis the mid of 4 and 6 4 mid of 4 and 8 is 6 so 2 6 so in this way we are representing this code vectors <coughs> this is the important step mapping of the input vectors into the code vectors as our l is equal to 2 so our code book is of two dimension and when our l is equal to 2 we are take the vector of two sizes that is we are making the grouping of two elements so here total 16 pixels are there so we make a group of two so eight pairs can be possible so we are taking this pair 2 4 now we will check 2 4 is closest map in this code book so these are nothing but the code vectors and we will see that where 2 4 is closely mapped so for that we are taking the variety type of distances and in this video for simplicity the absolute distance is taken but when we are implementing we can make the uh, Euclidean distance or variety type of distances now we will see the 2 4 if we take the difference of 2 4 with respect to 2 2 2 and 2 0 and 4 and 2 difference is 2 so difference is 2 and here even for 2 4 and 2 6 the difference is uh, 2 minus 2 0 and 6 minus 4 2 so 2 difference is 2 because if we see in the diagram the 2 4 will be map here that is this is 2 and 4 so it will map here so this map on the border so it is same distance with respect to 2 6 and same distance with respect to 2 2 so either we can map to the c8 or either we can map to the c12 so in this way next we will take the 6 set we will check where the 6 set closest map and based on that we can take the difference then we take the 10 11 16 15 so in this way we are mapping the closest match so see this is output so now 6 8 is closely mapped to the this 6 6 so c 9 comes then next is 10 11 which will closely map to the 10 10 because if we see the difference of 10 10 is 0 and 10 11 is 1 so only one distance is there so in this way this is a very important step and here the mapping is takes place that is the input image vector is mapped to the code vectors from the code book now here at the side of uh, from the encoder side we are not sending this image blocks but we are sending only this c8 c9 c uh, c3 indices and at the receiver side also this code book is same maintained so it will just decode c8 to this particular value 26 so transmission of indices so only the uh, same result is represented in tablet fashion so as such this step is not required but this is only to create the data at the uh, uh, say uh, to the receiver side so the indices corresponding to the code vectors are transmitted the indices to be transmitted for the corresponding input image vectors are tabulated only this result is present in a tabulated fashion next this takes a step it takes place at the receiver side so on the receiver side it will receive all that indices so only that from that indices we are again creating the code vectors because same code book is maintained at the receiver side and transmitter side uh, therefore it is very easy to generate again the code vectors now this is the input image and reconstructed image so 2 4 so 2 4 is mapped to the either our 2 4 or 2 6 2 2 or 2 6 so we take the 2 6 
so this is nothing but the loss takes place because they are not exactly mapping takes place so we are approximated either to the 2 2 or 2 6 so this is nothing but the loss takes place and 6 8 map to the 6 6 10 11 is mapped to the 10 10 so in this way the lossy uh, compression takes place because input data is permanently lost and it is approximated to this new value now we will see the same example but with different values of r and l so you can get the more idea now in previous example our r was 2 and l was 2 but here we are taking r equal to 1 and l equal to 2 so first step one is calculation of dynamic range which is same then fixing the rate and dimension so here now instead of r equal to 2 we are taking r equal to n and we are taking l is equal to 2 so our code vectors code book is of two dimension as well as uh, whatever the image blocks we are pick up they are of the group of two now here we calculate the number of code vectors which is equal to 2 raised to rl that is 2 raised to 1 into 2 that is 4 so here only four code vectors get generated and in previous problem it was 16 now here code vectors from 0 to 3 now we want to draw that code vectors into the two dimension and we require to take the interval so interval is dynamic range divided by r into l so interval is 8 so here we are taking 0 to 8 8 to 16 0 to 8 8 to 16 and we are representing the four code vectors now this is 4 4 midpoint is 4 midpoint is 4 midpoint is 4 midpoint is 12 midpoint is 12 midpoint is 4 so in this way four code vectors are generated now here we can see that more uh, quality degradation or more compression is achieved because instead of 16 code vectors we are passing only four types of code uh, indices at the receiver side so we are just mapping so we again for as same as previous problem we take this 2 4 we will check where 2 4 is mapped so here it is mapped 6 set where it will map so we are just mapping so this mapping steps is represented in this so only core 4 code vectors are there so each of the image block is either mapped to from c0 to c3 so in this way mapping takes place in the next step result is represented only in tabulated fashion so this is the result in tabulated fashion and we are sending only these code vectors to the receiver side now at the receiver side code book is there so receiver is reconstructing the image by seeing that particular code indices so this construction takes place if you compare the first example and the second example you can see that here there is more loss of data because our code vectors are less so more compression takes place so in this way but the quality of the image is degraded more compression takes place because we are not sending the too much indices only four variations are there and the algorithm is very ex easily to execute because the complexity is reduces because number of code vectors are less now next example this is not the per a perfect example of vector quantization but it becomes the scalar quantization because here we are taking l equal to 1 so when we take l equal to 1 we are not taking the grouping of elements but we take only single value so when l equal to 1 it is a scalar quantization we will calculate the same step here we keep r equal to 2 l equal to 1 so there, there are number of code vectors are from c0 to c3 only difference comes for this problem is that our code vector is now no of two dimensional it is of one dimensional because your l is one so in this way in the scalar format we are representing this uh, code book that is Diff interval is of 8 and l is equal to 1 so it is of one dimension it is of no, not two dimension so 0 to 8 8 to 16 16 to 24 and 24 to 32 so we are taking this gap and here we are taking so 0 to 8 8 to 16 16 to 24 and 24 to 32 so we are representing by only single that is data is only on the x-axis that is one dimension so midpoint is 4 midpoint is 12 midpoint is 20 and midpoint is 28 but this is not vector quantization it becomes a scalar quantization so now here we are not taking the group of pixel but we will take single pixel 2 now 2 will map close to the 4 4 will map close to the 4 6 if we take the difference between 6 and 4 then it is mapped to the, close to the 4 so in this way the mapping takes place so this is the output then we perform the same step that is transmission of indices and reconstruction of the image from the transmitted indices so in this way this is input image and this is the reconstructed image and we can see that again quality is degraded because number of code vectors are less 
now uh, here uh, when when we take r and l and when the uh, n is not power of 2 at that time our code vectors may get wasted for example optimal use of possible only when whatever the our results are getting which is a power of 2 for example if we take r equal to 3 and l equal to 2 so n is nothing but 2 raised to r into l so 2 raised to 6 is 32 uh, l r 3 into 2 so sorry here it is not One minute. So R into L. So R is three and two. So two raised to three is sixty-four. So here again we are getting the power of two. But uh, here, if we get the value which is not power of two at that time, our all code vectors are not utilized. And here we can, uh, for example, also here if we take this L R equal to three and L equal to two. So sixty-four code vectors are get generated. So 64 code vectors are uh, more uh, to represent this image, and the uh, efficiency is not mentioned, is not uh, retained. And at the same time, if we take the combination of R and L in such a way that 2 raised to R L is not power of 2, at that time some of the code ve code vectors get wasted. So we require to select R and L in such a way that it should always whatever the answer of n always should come to the power of 2. and if we take the more values of r and l at that time the whatever the uh, difficulty in or e efficiency of the vector, uh, vector quantization gets decreases so advantage and disadvantage high compression ratio vq can achieve the significant compression ratios especially when dealing with data that has high redundancy the basic concept of vq is relatively straightforward making it easier to implement it uses the code book which can provide some level of interpretability about the compressed data so any users can easily understand that how vector quantization takes place it is not difficult to understand from the user point of view disadvantage lossy compression so the the information is permanently lost so that particular difference that particular disadvantage is where there with the vector quantization sensitivity to code book design so our algorithm performance mainly depends on the code book design computational cost vq can be simple but computationally expensive when we are not selecting the proper value of r and l to design the code book so you can try with this example perform encoding and decoding for given image using vector quantization and take r equal to 2 and l equal to 2 so this is all about the vector quantization and in this next video i am going to explain dpcm with the quantization that is differential pulse code modulation for lossy compression technique thank you